Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you uh, how to use my new uh, scene rig with a background picture and to get something like this. We don't do exactly this one but I uh, will do the, like this glass and, and with the background pictures and the, and the reflections here and I will show you how you can do this with the new uh, rig. I uh, have the, I do this with the cinema uh, with the Nicomedia's uh, scene rig pro, but you can do the same with with the uh, light version uh, with light version two, and the light version you can download for free, and the pro version will cost ten euro, but I think that's worth it. And yeah, the every link you need you will find in the in the description. And this project file, this year, you can download on my site too. Link in the description, so you get exactly the same here. You you see then uh, the, exactly the same reflections. You get this uh, cigar texture and everything. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with this with a simple class. So go in in front view. Let's take the f -f 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 grid. And I want the grid small, so that one square here is about one centimeter. Because I try to do model in real uh, dimensions, so in real size. And I think the, the Chavisky class is about ten centimeter, centimeter high. And let's see. It should be uh, some big square here. Okay, I do it with an uh, loft nerve, I think. Yes. Okay. Let's start with an uh, b -b 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 circle. Of course, the circle is much too big, and in the wrong axis. So X set we need. Then. Uh, Smaller this one. T on your keyboard to scale. <laughs> keyboard, keyboard, and something like this. We can change it later. This later, so yeah, it doesn't matter. So then uh, go in the move tool. Hold your control key and drag it up. So you copy this spline. And let's say we make it. Poof. So here, a little bigger, and E and took here up. G. So it's very, very thin. so something like this. Maybe this will be our class. Let's see what we get with this. Whoop. Let's set them. Let them. We need. Now a loft nub and we put these three circles in it. We get something like this. Not, not really nice. So why don't look as like I want it? It doesn't look like I want it. So I don't need the cup the cap here above. Known. Then let's and I don't need Let's see, I don't need as much subdivisions because I want to throw it then in a subdivision surface. So what we get here, here I don't need enough. And here I don't, eight, no, nine, this is loft, we need one more. So something like this. Then subdivision, no. Okay. Put this in the hypernips. Okay. Now we start to play with this. Take the circle, E for moving. So, okay. Let's make a copy of this circle. So hold your control key and drag it up here. Uh, huh? It's almost ready. Yeah, that's it. Don't. 
Well, why not? Maybe a little. Uh, yeah, go to the left knobs and T for scale. And I just want to scale in the Z and X axis, so I take the Y axis and hold the Shift key. And now I drag it just uh, onto the. Yeah, this. Yeah, let's say that's our class. Okay, that starts of our class. Good. Next thing is. <laughs> yeah, here we, on the bottom, I don't like this this topology. So, so I go to the loft knobs here. Uh, at first, I make a new null object. Where's the null object here? Uh, make it out of Alt G for null object. So, call it backup. Then I throw a copy of my loft knobs in here. Deactivate it and hide it. Okay. And this loft knob I want me to make editable. So if you have seen my uh, uh, tutorials before, I have this nice script here. Of course, link in the description. It makes everything for me. So put it in here. So otherwise, you press C on your keyboard, but then you have to uh, again you have to have to to copy and uh, and connect and delete and 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 this script does everything I need. So. Okay, I have this one. Now I go to the bottom here. Go in the edge mode. So I don't need the grid here anymore. So yeah, here I see it better. Now I want to dissolve these edges here. So edges, this, this, this and this. Right click and dissolve. And now I want to make one cut from here to here. So go to the knife tool, K on your keyboard, restrict the selection, and just make cut from here to here. And now when we uh, take our subdivision, we get a nice mesh here. Okay, everything nice until now. Next thing, I go to the loft knobs, polygon mode, and I, with Control A, I take every, I select every polygon. Then I want to extrude it. D for extrude. And go in the side view, and I need caps here. So. And extrude it a little in a what? So, okay, this will be okay. Then, yeah. So I want to UL for a loop selection, and I want to select this one and move it a little up. So, um. Like this, it's not, don't have to be exact. So, okay. Next thing is, I go again. In here is every, everything selected. Now, I, 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 I want to scale this a little up. So, but I activate my subsurface here. Yeah, I'm right now. I want uh, this axis tool here, here on the top. So I go, I'll show you then why. I, I go here to axis or L on your keyboard. Move this up to here. And L on your keyboard again to deactivate it. And now I go in the scale mode. And now when I scale, I scale just the bottom up and nothing and not everything uh, inward, inwards or outwards. So I want to you see what I mean. 
Das will aber ich aber bottom of the class denn. Okay. No, the sickness should be okay. Next thing is we need edge mode. UL for a loop selection. Here that's okay, but I want this selection here D and just scale it inwards something like that okay let's see what we get now yeah we have a nice class here with a, a thick bottom <coughs> okay sorry Good, next thing is, I don't like these sharp edges here, so let's go to the edges, edge mode, UL on your keyboard, let's select this and this, then MS for a, a bevel, MS, and bevel it a little bit, something like that should be okay yes and give it one subdivision and now yeah that looks much better okay the next thing what we do we look if this looks nice for this now we start to take my my uh, scene rig. So I go in the content browser. This is the old scene rig. As I said, it works with the old scene rig too, but it's easier with the pro version. So you have a preview and you can uh, alter your uh, reflections nicely and 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 and, and uh, correct the colors and everything. So let's go up one thing and go to the pro version and just uh, drag this. Let's drag it in the scene. Don't double click it, just drag it in the scene. So, here we have our scene rig. Now I see the first thing I want I want a picture with a one to one size. So, come into render settings, output, let's say 600, 600 by 600. And lock this. Okay. Then I see that the floor is much too big. So I go in the scene rig. Make it so that you see it. Go to the floor settings. And the floor should be so about 10, I think. Oh, that's too small. Make it a little bigger. Something like this. We will change then everything. Okay. Yes, it's okay for the first thing. What we get now is if we render, we get simply this. Okay. <coughs> the next thing is we will need a class material. It's a very, very simple class material, nothing fancy. So don't need a color, just need transparency with 1.517, no exit reflections, and yeah, that's okay for the moment. I don't need Fresnel too. Then the reflectance, I take GGX and go dielectric and of course class and that's okay and put it on our loft nap here and now we render this one yeah nice and of course we do then another uh, reflection map and everything 
So, okay, next thing. What we do next? The next thing we do is I want a background, but I want a uh, not a just colored background. We can here change our color and everything else, you know. Uh, like if I say we want something like, oops, I want this so that we can have a nice blue one. But I want a picture in the background. And then I want here to this disk shall be a table then. So as as we have as we see it here, this this is just a disk here, and and we do a background here. So and then of course we want that the background shines in our glass, so reflected in our glass and everything. So, okay, how we do this? First thing is we turn off our background here. So, next thing is, you, you don't have to do this, this disk here is the floor. But uh, I don't want to work in this rig, so I just copy this floor out. So hold my control key and drag it out. So I have the floor here and in the rig I disable the floor. So, now I have the floor here. I don't need this texture, this is just for the reflection. And here I don't need the compositing tag. I don't need the, the whole render tag here. Okay, for this disk we want uh, something, some wood texture. Uh, let's see what to get. I have some textures here. First, let's make a new material, say wood, Hello, wood. Go to the color channel, and uh, now let's see what we have. Whoop. So, where is my wood I used in the picture? This is it. Okay, so I just drag this, uh, click on it and, and hold the mouse button, go to the program, so we, with Alt Tab you go to the, you change the program, and just put it in the texture slot here. Okay, uh, do I want it? Yes, no I don't have to because uh, it's on my... You can, you, if you say yes, so it, it, it saves it in your program folder, uh, in your project folder, so you have it in your project. But I, I am on my PC and so it, it searches on my uh, hard drive, so don't have to copy it again and again and again. So, this is just the wood. Put it on the, on the disk. And the next thing is, yeah, if if you throw a, a, a material directly on the material symbol here on the tag here, you change the material. You don't take a, you don't get a second or third or fourth. You just change it. So just go. But now I have to be careful. This uh, texture before was in frontal mode, but I need the UV mode here. So. Let's see what you get. Oops. Nothing now. It's funny. What I want? I want this interactive render region. I put it out and somewhere here. Okay, why don't I do I do I don't I see nothing here? Ah, mixed textures is on. Don't need mixed textures. Go in the interactive render mode. So we have a quite quick preview. So, but I wanted a little structure structure in here. So 
go back to this and well, take a normal map. So go here and activate normals. Go to the normal map and put it in here. That's of course too much. Too much to five three <laughs> yeah that should be enough okay and we want little reflectance too here is Beckman and I take some let's see assault why not very low reflections and But this we can change later. Yeah. Okay. Now, now the, the uh, interesting part I think is uh, how we can make a nice background here. So for this, we go and search a nice background. I found a nice one in uh, in the folder from the SIBL loader plugin. Uh, I think you know it uh, if you have seen my videos. Um, yeah, my videos is the SIBL loader, but I don't want to load the loader itself. I just want to to, uh, to use the uh, images in there. At first, I need a sky. I go to the sky. Boop. And let's say it's the this is the sky background. For this sky, I need a texture. So and I have the here. You see, I have it in the SIBL loader presets in the, the HS Gold Room, and I take this one, this reflection map. Just drag it again, and now I don't have to make a new texture. A new material, I just drag on the sky here. No, I don't want. And you see, I will get a new texture. So, in this texture, I need just the color, no reflectance. And I want to see the background better. So, uh, I go to the editor mode, uh, editor slot here, and uh, go here to about 2048 here. Yes, so and now I go to the sky, R for rotation and rotate it. So that's how I like it. Yeah, this is this is what I like. Say something like this. Okay. Make a quick render. Yes, looks nice. But now I want uh, to fake a little uh, depth, depth of field. So I go back to my texture here. Go here and here in the blur offset, I think just 1% should be enough. And if I render it now, we should get a blurry background, you see. Of course, if you want more, so go to two. But one, I think, is enough. Okay, but now I want to play with this, with the reflections. To have the possibility to play with the reflections, I go to the to my scene rig, the HDRI settings, and take the same uh, texture and throw it in here in this slot. So go back here and take it and drag it in here. And immediately now if you turn on our preview, and the preview is too big of course, go to 10 again. So we have to put on yeah. Yeah this this preview you don't have in the light version, so that's uh, the first thing is so you don't see it. so we can see where I have my reflections. 
But now we we should have this this uh, ring light, let's say ring light, in the front of the glass. But I don't think that it is so. Ah, it is so. Okay, so <laughs> we have no problem. But if I rotate it, I think let's look. Yes, yes, we have it still here, and uh, that should be it because I, I rotate it here, and it should be in, on another position, another position. And the reason is we have to go to this sky background, take an uh, compositing tag, and in this compositing tag. Uh, Seen by reflections, turn it off, and now you see we can play with the reflection. Now, when I, when I say, yeah, the nice thing here is in with this rig with the preview, now you don't see it, but if as soon as you rotated it, you see it. And now I see, okay, here is the ring light. Now I have it in the front. Okay, now I say I, I want it here. Then I'm just go uh, to the rotation and go here and it, it, it travels to here and okay more on the side and now it have it here that's the nice thing here is with this you, you, you see exactly where you where you get your reflections and now I think the whole scene is too bright for me uh, that's it should be an evening scene so what we can do is we go to the background material from the sky here. So let's let's name it background two. So. Okay. Go in the color mode here. Click on the on this picture. No, no, click not on this picture. Go on the texture and use layer. Click on layer. Now we have everything layered. Then click on the picture here. And here in the layer, in the effects, go to Use Saturation and Lightness. And here I just go down with my lightness. And you see everything gets... We can do it a little saturated more, maybe. Oh, that's too much. It's enough if we make it darker. Yes. Okay. But now for this scene, the reflections are too bright. See, uh, we need darker reflections, of course, too, not the bright one. Now we go back to my rig. And here with the reflection brightness, we just go back. So it fits with the background. Oops, I don't need the light intensity. The reflection right as you can see if we make it too bright, you have something like this. <laughs> we don't need it. And so do it like like you want it, but it should fit to the background. I think it looks quite nice. So but the reflection contrast, I want the contrast to make it little sharper reflections. Yeah, that looks better. Maybe a little brighter. Okay. Of course, you you have to think we are in the uh, interactive render region. We have a very very bad quality here. The render will be much better, of course. Okay. Next thing is. Let's make a little fluid here in here in this class. So, for this, deactivate the render region, deactivate our preview mode, and now, yeah, the next thing I want to make a camera. Uh, here a camera. Don't want to see it in the data. Activate it, and I want here a. a portray thingy uh, something like that a little out of 
Dann treffen wir ihn exakt in der Mitte. So. Ja, ja. Okay, let's see what we get now. Ja, yeah, that looks much better. Ist die Kamera. And if the, the glass is too broad for you, so, so just go to the loft nub. And as I've shown you before, loft nub, go in the here in the scale tool go to the y-axis and hold the shift key so you just uh, scale in the z and x-axis make it a little like this and yeah I think it's better okay now I'll make a little whiskey in it <coughs> or if you want you can do ice tea in it I prefer whiskey here it's uh, half past seven p.m. that's okay it's time for whiskey At first I will protect my camera here so I can can uh, move it now see can nothing can happen so now I can move next thing is I don't want to see the textures now so I go here in the options and deactivate the textures so I can work and for the fluid the first thing we do make the subdivision to go to three yeah. and three is in the render set is okay we can we can let it here to three because what I want to do is uh, to make just current state to object out of this uh, subsurface here so I go right click current state to object here is this now I have this one this I can delete fluid oh, liquid so and uh, because it, with the current state to object it takes uh, the subdivisions you have chosen here not the first ones and the second one and now I go to my liquid here but let's hide this for a moment back up hide it so Okay, 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 okay. Is there something? So now I watch how much uh, liquid I want in it. So UL for loop selection. Let's see. Ah, it's a little too much. Better two small ones than one big. Okay, that's, that's okay. Now we can make a fill selection. That means you uh, press UF on your keyboard, UF, and you get a fill selection. It fills every uh, polygon here. Hold your shift key and everything is selected. Now I want to keep this selection, so, so I go to set selection. And it, it, it saves this selection. Here say fluid. Or liquid, it doesn't matter. But if you don't have it here in your toolbar, uh, just go here to select and here set selection. Next thing I want to do with this thing is go right click and split it. Split. Okay. And now we don't need this liquid thing anymore. Just delete it. Good. We don't need this selection deck here. Okay. Yep, that looks like I want it. Next thing is I go to the edge mode. I could do uh, just a uh, yeah okay we can do this again we can do this uh, go to the 
close polygon hole and just close it. But you see we get weird edges here. And I don't like this so much. So what I do is uh, go back to this. I take the edge mode in, in UL for loop selection here. Then go in the scale mode T, T unit keyboard. Hold your uh, control key and drag it down. Something like this. The next thing is I go I make a right click, go to Welt and just click somewhere here and it's, everything is closed and we don't have this ugly edges here good let's make an optimization can't be wrong next thing I want to bevel this edge a little bit go into edge mode UL whoop then an MS for bevel and make a bevel like yeah, like this. I take here and uh, not a chamfer, so I take a solid because I will throw it in a hyper in a subdivision surface and it, this, this round is my edges here. You will see what I mean with wait, tuk, tuk, diesen here. Uh, <laughs> and put it in here. You see, now we get this. But now I see I want it a little rounder, and that's that is the reason I use normally uh, not the bevel tool here. I use the bevel deformer. So in the R17 you have the bevel deformer. You have seen now how you can, how you can do it with the bevel. I use the bevel deformer. I act. Uh, I just yeah, activate my liquid. Go to the bevel deformer, hold my shift key and click on the bevel deformer. Here, and let's say an offset of 0.3. Yes, okay. Now I put this liquid in the subdivision surface. And the big advantage of this bevel deformer is I can do it now. I can, I can see, I can watch, okay, I like this, I like this, I like this. And I would say I like this. And here we can no jump for solid. Okay, then we go a little higher. Yeah, something like this. Okay, now we should have our fluid. We can make here in our loft. This is our glass. Activate it. Then uh, we throw this liquid in here too, in this subdivision surface. And now we select this and this and Alt G for a group. Now we have here the group and, and both is uh, now in the subdivision surface. And both will be uh, will will be uh, subdivided. If you do it without a null, just the first one will be subdivided. What's in this for? You see? There's nothing, but I think if the fluid here should be enough. Well, let's see. Uh, put it out there for the moment, okay? Because it's, it's subdivided enough. Your glass. Uh, now let's go. B -b -b camera back with our textures. Of course, we need now uh, material. This is our glass material. Okay, we see that it's glass, but name it anyway. So I, I copy this material. So I just hold my control key on the keyboard and drag it. Oops, so I have class one and see whiskey whiskey so oh, now we have to play this is uh, <laughs> reflectance of course we need but 
that's all the same but here with the whiskey I want to do it like water I don't drink it like water so don't misunderstand me <laughs> one, two, three and here an absorption color like like a little whiskey color more orangey like that okay and uh, this is a small glass so let's see five and put it on the liquid this can delete and make an okay we have fluid uh, liquid in there but 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 not a nice one so now we go to the color and here I have to play and play and play until we have the right settings maybe brighter yeah it looks almost good nope yeah I like it yeah okay it's, it's okay now I go to the front view and what I want to do is I go to my liquid and T for scale okay the axis is uh, down here but I need it in the middle of the liquid so here I have this uh, magic center you will find the link in the description of course and if I click this, this is from Nitroman, if I click it everything is, uh, the uh, axis is centered exactly and I want the liquid to overlap a little so, so it intersects with the, with the glass something like this you see it looks much better now okay I think we got it now I think it center let's make here somewhere I have, okay let's render it here in the viewport for a moment yeah I think it is a really nice yeah really nice and you, you have seen how fast this and it renders it, it renders really really fast uh, I have here a render very low, uh, low render setting this is we have uh, oopsie fixed one so yeah and to play more with the, with our uh, rig activate GI for a moment or activate it and now go back to our rig and now we play with twister rig and uh, I want maybe a little brighter reflections again yeah now it's nice and the rotation oh it's, it's okay I'll turn on, on the preview so we see what we do let's try it like this so we get the no I don't like this windows here no I think the first thing was the best one with this oops not the saturation is wrong with the ring light here on this side yeah it's the best one okay I think we got it let's make a nice render a nice render I make a quiet nice render if you want uh, the only thing if you just drag the scene uh, like we did now in the scene so if you take this and drag it in the scene so you can do it you have to drag it on the object thing here uh, you don't have the render settings with it you just have the render settings if you double click it and with double click you get a new uh, project but what you can do is uh, before you start uh, something like this uh, 
first uh, double click it and uh, start a new project with it so you have the old render settings too but we can try another thing we can uh, double click it now make a new scene now I have a just a new scene and now I have the render settings here and let's say I want to copy this render setting it should, should work normally I haven't tried it before but and paste yeah and I want the middle GI as well maybe a so middle GI copy whoops the and paste and now with the middle GI I have here uh, what? Adaptive 15 is okay. It's okay. Let's see how long it needs to render. Something. What's wrong here? Oh, of course, with this render setting now. We have to change the output. We have we would we have the we have the square so, so go here to six hundred to six hundred and here the same six hundred to six hundred. Now we have the right thing and now let's see how long it takes to render. If I have to pause this video or not, I don't think so. No, it's fast enough, I think. And it's still a really uh, low, uh, low render. <coughs> but I want to show you. Yes, I want to show you too how you can. Uh, work in Photoshop then to make it uh, nicer and um, more brilliant so yeah come on do it do it you get it whoop, whoop. I'm just this stupid guy uh, next to me my second uh, PC runs and <laughs> it runs and it is in the, the team render and I didn't use it that doesn't matter so it's not an not a really nice render but uh, I just want to show you the next thing with Photoshop let's see this is Photoshop I don't need this yeah this is from before yeah. Uh, I have to do it for this recording, so do I have a uh, no, so let's put this so uh, yeah, it's okay for this. I don't know if this works nice in eight bit, but let's see, I just copy this file let's see no uh, some normally also I did I did copy go back to the end and here uh, it's German uh, but you will see what I do I think you, you get it new one is from the uh, <laughs> okay and control V and we have it here but now this is just an 8-bit version. I will see if it works as, as good with, as in, with a 16-bit. Ah, sorry. Oops. So. <clears throat> sorry. So. Make a smart object out of this. I have a shortcut for this, but go right-click and in smart, uh, turn to smart object. 
and then go in the filter, camera raw filter. And here, go to 100%. And the first thing I do is with the, is with the playing with the clarity, and you will see how brilliant this get. It becomes totally brilliant, and if you go a little lighter, you get wonderful, sharp edges, and, and everything is really nice. And in the new update, it's uh, update before I think two times or so, we have, uh, go back here to zero, we have an, an FX uh, uh, remove dust uh, or, or something else, uh, don't, don't dunst, uh, what means steam or something. If you work with this, you get, uh, you see it better with 16 bit, but you have seen it here, you get something like this, and then you can play with the clear net. And then a little higher, and you get a really, really nice. But it just was a little too much. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, so you see, it is, it's really a wonderful picture, then. It looks uh, almost real. Okay. I hope uh, you like this tutorial. And of course, I hope you have a look about the the scene rig, and the pro version. The pro, as I said, it costs only ten euros, and in this ten euro, you have the pro version, and you get uh, twenty uh, HDRI maps with it. They are, you can buy the HDRI maps uh, uh, so for five euro, but if you buy buy the whole rig. You get it, you include it in the rig. So, that's this. Yeah, but, but as I said, you can do everything with the light version of the rig too. And you will find every link in the, in the description. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. The next thing, I, I will update soon this pro version. So you, we can do this with the background that so that we don't have to make a sky and something else so that you can then uh, everything do in the rig P uh, put the background in and and can do the rotation and everything for you but that's it for the day so i wish you a nice evening here in austria it's the evening uh, i wish you a nice day and Hope to see you next time and yeah, uh, be happy <laughs> and, and be nice. Bye bye.